Artober Learning Labs! Welcome to Mr. Maddie's World. I am here in Nashville, Tennessee at Dragon Park to help celebrate NowPlayingNashville.com's Arttober. It's Arttober. woo Let's check out this dragon. Look at this dragon behind me. It has so many colors on it. Someone must have spent a lot of time working on this. Let's go check it out. I think we can climb it too. Let's go climb some art. Now I love all of the colors we see. This artist used so many colors to help make this dragon. This is called mosaic. It's mosaic. It's a bunch of little pieces of tile, really hard tile. There's some orange tile. There's some red tile. I like the red tile. Ooh, look at, look at all this blue tile. Oh, one of my favorite colors, green. I see Baby Yoda over here. Green, I love green. What's your favorite color? Do you see your favorite color up here? You see it. Holiday of Christmas tree right up here. Wow, wow. So many patterns, so many great colors. It feels so cool too. So neat. 
Oh, wow. There's the head of the dragon with all the teeth. It's eyeball. Wow. And it goes up, down, and all around. And this art, this art is at a park that you can come and climb on this and play around with it. Isn't this so cool? Who knew that a piece of art could actually be a playground too? Let's climb. And it wouldn't be Artober without a pumpkin. And look, someone could come right here and play checkers, it looks like. Could we play checkers here? Do you play checkers? I love that game. We should play checkers sometime. Look, we got a, I love this. We got a lighthouse here. And sending, the artist wanted to look like light. It's coming out. Isn't that neat? You can make it look like light is coming out of a lighthouse like that. So creative. What can you do with your creativity? Did you know? Yeah, that's right. You're creative too. You have so many things that you could make. Hmm. Let's go find some other art here in Nashville. Let's get inspired so we can make our own art at home. Hi, everybody. I'm down here in Hillsboro Village in Nashville, Tennessee, taking a look at this dragon. Wow, this dragon is painted on the side of a building. How cool is that? And then right across the street, is another painting. Wow, look at all the beautiful colors there. Nashville is so colorful, don't you think? I love all these paintings. Let's go find some more paintings on buildings. Look at this mural over here. It's almost all the colors I could think of over there. Now in this mural, we've got green and blue and white. I love the murals where the artists draw all over the walls. Can you imagine a piece of paper as big as the side of a building or your house? That'd be unbelievable. Kind of like this, it is believable. Never be with anyone who tries to silence the art inside of you. If you live in Nashville, then you know what these wings are. If you've visited Nashville, you probably know where these wings are too. Do you think if you came here, you could find these wings? I think you could. I think we should get a picture like everybody here is doing. Should we get a picture? Let's get a picture. Those are so cool. Be safe. Watch behind. Have fun. That is great advice for life. Look at these little wings, they're so cute. Can you find the sun? Where's the sun? There it is, you found it. Can you find the soccer ball? You found it. Can you find the puppy dog? Right here? Right here. How about the music note? Can you find the music note? What do you think Nashville is? Mr. Maddie's world, best of Nashville? Are we part of best of Nashville? All right, now I am next to Music Row here in Nashville. At Buddy Kellen Circle with the Musica statue. Look at that statue. Someone sculpted that and turned that into a big statue of people dancing. Um, do you think they know that they're not wearing any clothes though? Oh my goodness, they're not wearing any clothes. Oh, I think this is so cool too. Someone made a bike rack that looks like a microphone. You can, you can put your bikes on there so nothing, you put a lock on it to keep it safe if you're going in somewhere. And then there's a microphone right there because we love music here in Nashville. Do you like music too? Let's go see if this microphone works. Well, it looks on. It looks like we've got the on switch on. Here's off, O-F-F, -F, but we've got on, O-N, so it's all switched up. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh we are on the go You think it's working? You think it's working? Now this, this is so cool. An artist took a dumpster where you put your garbage they made a picture on the side of it. They painted a face of Dolly Parton. It looks like they did that with spray paint. Wow, that is so cool. It says Dolly right there on the side. And there's Dolly and she has a 
little pink cat right there, kitty cat. I love how colorful, how bright the colors are when you're using spray paint. Let's see if we can find some more art that some artists use spray paint for. Oh boy. Oh, and here is another one of my favorite murals here in Nashville. Right on the side of my favorite bicycle shop in town, Green Fleet Bikes. Yay, bicycles. This wall right here has some of my favorite musicians painted on it. Look how much fun they're all having riding their bicycles. Do you like riding your bicycles? Do you think bikes can be a work of art too? I think so too. Oh, look at this one here. There's the Batman building that you see when you come to downtown Nashville. That's what we call it here in Nashville, the Batman building. Maybe I'll show you that later too. I think that's a work of art too. Let's check it out. Ah, flowers. I love flowers. There it is, the Batman building, the at and building here located at 333 Commerce in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's 33 stories tall and look at that. Yeah, there was some art involved when they were making that building. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. To the point, Batman! I'm here at the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, and right over here, this is the Ghost Ballet. Look at this art installment right here. Someone had to install it, had to put it right there. So many big parts. It looks like a big roller coaster, doesn't it? It's pretty cool. And then right over here, we have the Downtown Pedestrian Bridge, the Siegenthaler Bridge, that's right. I think it's an art, work of art too, with all of the cool pieces of metal and all the different shapes, all the patterns going across it. I bet if you looked hard enough, you could find art everywhere in the city you live too. Outside my favorite music venue here in Nashville, Tennessee, the Exit Inn. You can see some great music here, some great performers, great artists. Here are some of the legendary artists that have performed here on a mural on the side of the building. They wrote all of these names of all of these amazing musicians that have performed here at X-Men. What a clever, artistic way to decorate your building. Look, it's celebrating 50 awesome years of one of the greatest venues here in Nashville, right here on the Rock Block. that Nashville has a recreation, a replica of the Parthenon? Look at this gigantic building. It's unbelievable. And did you know that the artists who made this building, they were celebrating 100 years of Tennessee, Tennessee's 100th birthday. They wanted to finish it in 1896, but they finished it in 1897. So they were a little late but they kept on working on it and they finished it. Look what we have now. This might be one of the biggest pieces of art we see on this trip. Well, here is probably the biggest mural, the tallest mural we're gonna see all day. Look at that. Look how high the artist had to get up on that building. Hey, that old man, what do you think he's looking at? What you looking at, man? What's he looking at? Driving through the neighborhood known as the Nations here in Nashville. Check out this mural. I think it's gonna be the longest mural we're gonna see on this trip. It's like everyone in Nashville loves to paint on the side of their buildings. Doesn't that sound like fun? I'm down here in Five Points in East Nashville. Look at this one, I love this. Look at this good boy right here. Play with a little ball. Ah, look at the kitty cat, oh my goodness. I love that. And look at these bears just hanging out. There is art all over East Nashville. Look, someone here painted on the side of their fence. Wow, look at that squid. Oh, that's so cool. Here at Shelby Park in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, what a beautiful day. This day is kind of like a work of art. I love October. I mean, Arttober in Nashville, Tennessee. It's gorgeous. What a cool statue. Look at this bird. It's melting all over the place. What a mess. That's a pretty cool statue. Have you ever seen anything like that? 
That's a big bird. It's really shiny, it's silver. I like it. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. That was so much fun exploring Nashville, trying to find as many pieces of art as we could find. I could go for a song right about now. What do you think? Song? Let's do a song. mosaic is remember that mosaic dragon that we saw in dragon park i went to dragon park today so do you know the big dragon at dragon park we're gonna make mosaics kind of like the dragon or whatever we want but like kind of like the same style let's make mosaics so how we're we gonna start we're gonna take some strips of paper right here that i got and i'm gonna cut them like this i already cut a bunch oh i got some in the glue that's okay so can i whose paper can i demonstrate on I'm gonna take this piece that just flew in the glue right here. Oh, well, you can put it on mine since it'll just blend in. Can I just put paper. it right here? Oh yeah, it will blend in because it's the same. And I'm gonna pat it right there. I'm gonna take a little glue off. But you have paintbrushes you can use for the glue too, right? So you don't have to get your fingers messy. So let's start making a mosaic. So I got a red one. I got red piece. I got a little bit of glue. Rojo in Espanol. Uh, what is That's this? Spanish. What? To say red in Spanish, you say Rojo. Rojo. Blue. Blue. Azul. Azul. Well, these are looking good. I'm flipping mine up into tiny pieces because not every shape has to be the same. This is Hello. Amarillo. Amarillo. See the top? Is this the top of your tree? Yeah, this is the tree. Dolly's gonna make a tree. An apple tree. I'm gonna love apples. I'm, I'm gonna make a dinosaur. Sorry. Ah. I got Amalia again. Apples on my tree, and I'm using a small brush to glue them. Let's clean and burn it. 
Verde. Verde. Green is verde. Verde. Blue's azul. Blue's azul. Yellow's amarillo. Yellow's amarillo. Brown's cafe. Brown's cafe. It's like you get coffee at a cafe and coffee's brown. Can I put a purple on there? And I'm just gonna add a little more of oh, another paper in the middle. A yak likes its coffee black. <laughs> That's so silly. These mosaics are looking fabulous. These are great. I got a lot. These are right up there with that dragon. These mosaics are so cool. Well, I love how there were all these little hidden pictures in the dragon mosaic, all these little all these little things like there like, was a doggy. Like, like there was a creepy lady face. And a pumpkin. There was pumpkins. And there was um I think there was a fish. There was a fishy. Do you need some help, bud? There's a fishy. Yeah. You need an assist? There's Ooh, they're sticky, sticky, sticky. You need it sticky. So people don't, they cut some little pieces of paper, they get a bigger piece of paper, they get some glue. They can use a brush, they could use a glue stick, or they could use a glue bottle, they use whatever they want, right? To stick it onto the paper. Well, at least it has to be something sticky. Something sticky, 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 sticky. like, like, and You are sticky. So I hope everyone at home and be creative like these kiddos and make a fantastic mosaic for Arttober. You can put it up in your room or you can show it to your friends or you can send me a picture of it. That'd be fun. I'd love to see what you did. Anyway, I think we're gonna finish these up. We're gonna clean our hands up. Maybe, yeah. What do you think? We're gonna take some baths maybe? Bath, no. No? No. Bath. Yes and no. We got one yes, yes. one no. Well, all right, everyone. We're gonna finish these up. I hope you have fun making your own mosaic too. Say bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. Clapping my hands from the front to the back, front to the back, front to the back. Clap my hands from the front to the back. And now we clap them in the front. Now we clap them in the front. Now we clap in the front in my hands, yeah, clap in my hands Clap in my hands from the front to the back, front to the back, front to the back Clap in my hands from the front to the back Now we clap them in the back Now we clap them in the back Now we clap them in the back Clap in my hands, yeah, clap in my hands from the front to the back, front to the back, front to the back Clap in my hands from the front to the back I am back at my house in my backyard and I bet if we look around we can find some art in Mr. Maddie's backyard. Let's go try to find some art. Let's go find some art. Let's go. Oh looky here. This is my compost bin. This is where we make a lot of compost. We put our old vegetable scraps and dirt and grass in there and it turns it into it turns it into dirt for our garden. Isn't that amazing? But look our handprints are on it. That's art. Oh look at this. Someone made some art. It's really neat. It balances. It balances on this piece of metal. And they're frogs having a great time. Garden art. Anyone has tried to grow tomatoes in Tennessee? That is a work of art. That's art too. That's edible art. Ow.
Sometimes I think the simplest flowers. What's simple about that? Nothing simple. I think that's art right there. Wow. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love garden art. So when I'm out here planning my garden, planting it, and figuring out where all of the pretty flowers are gonna go and grow, I'm kind of like an artist. Using this dirt as my paper I'm drawing on. These are like all my crayons and all my paints that I'm painting with. Painting with seeds. Isn't that neat? And they grow into pretty plants. Works of art. Oh, and these, these gotta be my favorite. These are our rain barrels where we collect rain from a gutter that comes from all the rain from our roof comes down to these barrels right here and I drew some sunflowers on them. I love sunflowers. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of art in our garden. And finally, look at this. And all is well. That's right. Well, I hope you had a wonderful time today with me. I had a wonderful time. It's Arttober. I hope you have a wonderful, creative, colorful month. I hope you find so many ways to create beautiful things, whether it's with crayons and a piece of paper, with paint and some walls, or whatever you might find in your garden. Be creative. Happy Arttober, everybody. Bye. Hello, friends. Even when you have a face mask on, you can still find ways to let the world know that you've got a smile on underneath it. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I can give my hand a wave. Give my wide eyes an eyebrow raise. I can bow and sing namaste. namaste. I could say, what's up? Or say, good day. Smiles with my eyes this way. An elbow bump instead of high fives today. You know, jazz hands go a long way. I could say, hola, or shout, hooray. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I've got a face mask. I don't wanna sneeze, but I just shoot a bless you. And then get my icky, sicky germs on you. So a mask is what I gotta do. But underneath, I got a great big smile for you. So you can give your hand a wave. Give your pretty wide eyes an eyebrow raise. Do a yoga pose and say namaste. You could say what's up, or say hey, hey. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I'm smiling, I've got a face mask over my mouth I've got ways to show I'm smiling Even though you might not see to take my smile Or let a mask get in the way of letting you know I'm happy to say i got a lot of ways to smile today There's so many ways to smile today I've got a face mask over my mouth I've got ways to show I'm smiling Today, a smile won't let a mask get in the way of letting you know I'm happy to say I've got a lot of ways to smile today. I've got a lot of ways to smile today. I've got a lot of ways to smile today. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I've got a face mask over my mouth. I've got ways over my mouth. I've got ways to show I'm smiling. I've got a face mask. Oh, I've got a face mask over my mouth. Over my mouth. I've got ways. Oh, I've got some ways to show I'm smiling. To show you I'm smiling. I've got a face mask over my mouth. A face mask over my mouth. Face mask over my